Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to RAC, where we talk all things audio production and sound. Tube, FET, what the heck are they? When looking into condenser microphones, you'll likely hear these terms. In this video, we are deep diving between the functionalities and differences between tubes and FETs. Saddle up, it's a fun one. Hi, I'm Dariana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. Let's go. So we've likely heard of tubes, maybe their mythology and their lore, but what are they and how do they work? Let's first look at what is a tube and how it works in a circuit tubes, also known as vacuum tubes, have been a cornerstone of audio technology for decades. They serve as amplifiers within a microphone circuit, controlling the flow of electrons in a vacuum between electrodes. A typical tube consists of three main components, the cathode, anode, and grid. Here is a deeper look into how they function. Nerd alert! Cathode. The cathode is heated to emit electrons into the vacuum space. This process is essential for the tube's operation, as it generates the electrons needed for amplification. Anode. The anode attracts the electrons released by the cathode, creating a flow of current. This flow is crucial for signal amplification and is influenced by the voltage applied to the grid. Grid. The grid sits between the cathode and the anode and modulates the flow of electrons. By applying a varying voltage to the grid, the engineer can control the level of amplification, allowing for nuanced adjustments in the audio. The unique characteristics of tubes is their ability to introduce harmonic distortion. This is due to their non-linear amplification process. This results in the addition of even order harmonics, creating the sought-after tube warmth that imbues recordings with a rich vintage musical quality. The intricate design of tubes allows for natural compression and saturation that many describe as smooth and musical, making them highly desirable in specific recording situations. All right, now that we've done tubes, let's go on to FETs. So what is a FET and how does it work in a circuit? FETs, or field effect transistors, represent a more modern approach to signal amplification in condenser microphones. Unlike tubes, which operate in a vacuum, FETs utilize semiconductors to control electron flow. The key components in a FET include source. This is where the electrons enter the FET, initiating the amplification process. Gate. Gate controls the flow of electrons by applying a voltage. This mechanism allows for precise management of the audio signal being amplified. Drain. The drain is where the electrons exit the FET after being amplified. The resulting signal is then sent to the output, ready to be processed further. FETs are celebrated for their efficiency and reliability. They provide a clean amplification process with minimal harmonic distortion, resulting in a precise and transparent reproduction. This makes FET microphones ideal for capturing dynamic nuances and detailed performances in modern recordings. Their ability to handle high SPL or sound pressure levels and fast transients make them a go-to for capturing crisp, clear sound, especially in complex environments environments. Here are some technical and mechanical differences. One, power requirements. Tube microphones. These require a dedicated external power supply. This can be cumbersome and less portable, particularly in mobile recording setups. FET microphones typically rely on standard phantom power or 48 volts, which is commonly available on most audio interfaces and mixers. This offers convenience and also ease of integration into most contemporary studio environments as well as portable studio setups. Two, Durability. Tube microphones feature fragile vacuum tubes that necessitate careful handling and potentially more maintenance. The glass and filament inside the tube are sensitive to physical shock and temperature variation, which can lead to performance issues if mishandled. FET microphones boast robust construction with fewer delicate components, thus enhancing their durability. The solid state design is more resilient to physical and environmental stress, making FET microphones an easy choice. Circuit complexity. Tube microphones often in integrates complex circuitry that contributes to their distinctive tonal characteristics. This complexity may include transformers and multiple gain stages that significantly impact the microphone's overall sound signature. FET microphones typically feature simplified circuits designed for efficiency and consistent performance. The straightforward design often results in reduced noise and a broader frequency response, ensuring a reliable performance across multiple different recording scenarios. All right, are you still with me? Now let's look at the sonic differences. Tube microphones, renowned for their smooth, warm sound with a pronounced mid-range. They excel in adding character and depth, making them ideal for vocal recordings and acoustic instruments, especially where a colored or vintage tone is desired. The harmonic richness they provide enhances the natural tone or timbre of the voices and instruments, creating a full, rich, vibrant sound. FET microphones deliver a clean, accurate, and detailed sound, capturing trans 
transient rich sources like drums or percussions with precision. They are particularly effective for more modern vocals and instruments, as that requires clarity and a faithful representation of the sound. They really capture the subtle nuances of any sort of sound source with accuracy and pristine clarity. Suggested applications and audio profile types. Tube microphones, best suited for vocals, acoustic guitars, strings, anything where warmth and tone is prioritized. They shine in genres such as jazz, blues, and classical music, where the added warmth can enhance the emotional emotional impact of a performance, and bring out the best expressive and melodic recordings. FET microphones, ideal for drums, electric guitar, orchestral recordings, and sound applications where transparency and detail are crucial. They are favored in pop, rock, and electronic music, where the accuracy and speed of the FET allow them to shine. So let's go over some favorite tube microphones and FET microphones. We spoke about the first two in our last video, so go check that out. It's a fun little video. Number one, we have the U67, a legendary microphone that delivers a classic sound. The U67 provides a smooth top end and rich mid-range with so much character and so much warmth. This was a favorite of the Beatles and many vintage recordings. Number two, the Telefunken ELAM or ELAM 251. Renowned for its stunning vocal capture, it's one of my top three microphones. This microphone offers a lush, velvety tone with a balanced frequency response, perfect for both male and female vocals, and is highly regarded in professional studios. Now, FET microphones. Number one, the Neumann U87, also one of my top three microphones. A versatile workhorse, the U87 is known for its precise, beautiful sound and adaptability, featuring three polar patterns and a mostly flat frequency response with a shimmery high end. It is suitable for nearly everything. It just makes everything sound good. <laughs> Number two, the AKG 414. Esteemed for its transparency and detail, the C414 provides multiple polar patterns and a broad frequency range, making it ideal to capture everything from vocals to orchestral instruments. I find the C414 a little bit more mid and a little bit more modern sounding than the U87, and I personally would use a U87 because I have a lot more air and high end and I like capturing that, but the C414 does sound amazing, especially I find on male vocals and like punchy. Anything you want to sound punchy, it's great for that. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it helped with understanding what a FET is, what a tube is, and how you can tell the sonic differences, why they exist. It's fun to know how things work. I'm now working on two demos. There's the mic placement where it's on and off axis, and that will change the tone of the microphone. The tape demo, which is going to be really fun, as well as I thought it could be fun to do a mic shootout. That way you can hear how each of these microphones sound. And maybe if you're thinking of getting a microphone, I can do some classics. And if you guys have certain microphones you'd like me to try out, let me know. I have tried to do a mic shootout before. I never posted it, but I thought it could be fun to just try out a whole bunch of different microphones on my voice. I can maybe do it on amp or something like that where I can repeat the sound a few times. But yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We come out with new content content every week. We have a few cool demos down in the description, so go check those out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!